Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we saw how we can use correlation to figure out a dynamic variable and that dynamic variable was a session ID. So we capture the session ID by looking at the left boundary and the right boundary and then we use a function that is web bridge find parameter and and we use a function called web reg save param all right and in this video let's take a look at another scenario in this scenario i'm going to do four step the first step i'm going to go to this home page localhost slash module and then i will click on login then i'll click on the create new account and here i'm going to give username password and email address uh, first name, last name, city and country and then I'm going to do create my new account. If I do record these four steps this is going to look like this. I have already done for you and this recording is similar to whatever recording that we have done. I hope you are not going to have any problem in recording these kind of simple scenarios. Alright and this is what you are seeing. So this is what you are seeing is that simple scenario. Here in the first, in step one, I go to the module homepage. The equivalent API that, that view gen generated for me is this. Then in step two, I click on link. So this is the API for that. In step three, I click on create new user and this is the API. And in step four, I submit the form and this is the API. All right. So the question here is that can you create a 100 user and each time you like, know whenever you are creating a user choose a random country out of this drop down list all right while i have recorded i have used country called algeria so that is why algeria is showing up here all right if i run this script 100 times every time i'm going to create a user name x country algeria that is not my intention is what my intention here is you know modify the script so that you will create you, you will use the unique value username here like user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 and a random country here okay and that country will be selected from the drop down box so how do you solve this thing based on the concept that we already gone by using parameterization this problem can be solved so for example i can create a parameter of all the countries that what i'm seeing here all right and then i will choose a, I'll, then when i choose the parameter i will randomly choose a country that can be, that is a that can be done however when like however for for whatever reason if this country like now if i'm going to go and then delete a country from my database like say for example afghanistan is no more there in my database but it is there on your parameter list so therefore if you go to parameterization approach then you might have a problem when this list is dynamic itself like you now if this leak if this list is static never going to change then parameterization is the way to go however if the list is changing then what i need to do this step we are getting the list right so uh, just after step three i have to parse the html page and find out which are the country are, are present right now in the list all right and then you know once i once i figure out which are the country and then i probably store them in an array following the basic array operation i, I can find out a random uh, element in that array and that random element in that array is a random country all right so that is the approach that you can do okay so basically what we need to do while when the test is running each, you know whenever we come to this page we need to parse this page and find out what is the what find out the countries and choose a random country so just revert back to the 
so revert back to the concept of correlation that whatever we used in the last last in the last video can you can you think of a way by using correlation you can capture these values okay so that is the question to you and in the next video i will solve this thing thank you